Hi, this is Colette with Witch Ways, and I'm here today to talk about using a simple witchy charm for the Beltane season to enhance your relationship to deity and to magical beauty. We are still in Beltane season. The actual solar cross quarter day is Friday, May 6th, so there's still time to do a little magic for this holiday. Beltane is all about beauty, personal beauty, magical beauty, the beauty and sacredness of the earth, embodying that, holding that, and honoring that. However, the way the dominant culture sees beauty and who it deems beautiful is rooted in all the isms, in ageism, sexism, racism, homophobia, transphobia. And so I wanted to include a little bit of wishing that all beings could be considered beautiful and that standard changes in this charm as an option for those of you who are so inclined. So this is a charm to basically claim your own magical beauty and the beauty of all. We're going to make a charm today to use in a ritual bath. And generally we think of baths as being about releasing and purification and regeneration. But this is a bath of invocation and we can use them to infuse ourselves with our magical intention. What you're going to need is a glass or ceramic bowl a piece of natural fiber cloth. I like unbleached muslin myself, but you can use silk or whatever you like. About six by six inches. Some string to tie up the charm, or you can use a sachet bag if you choose. You need um, some oatmeal, just a scant handful, not even a whole handful. And you need one to two sprigs of lilacs. And if you have access to ladies mantle, you can use one to two leaves of that. Lilacs are all about um, protection and romantic thoughts and feelings. Oatmeal is soothing, moisturizing to the skin, as well as calming and supportive to the nervous system. And ladies mantle is about the ability to see your own beauty and to see deity within yourself. Start by harvesting your plants and the lilac blooms you can gently rinse off if you want. I like to leave the water on the ladies mantle because the water that collects at the base of the leaves is considered to be very magical and very beauty enhancing. Um, so once you've harvested those, and if you've chosen to wash them, just lay them out on a paper towel, or you can lay them out on a cloth. You can gently blot them if you want. Um, but if you're going to use the charm right away, it doesn't matter that much. Then once you've taken care of your herbs, just kind of set them aside and place your oatmeal in the bowl. And then when you're ready and you've done put, putting the oatmeal in the bowl, just gently pluck the individual blossoms off of the lilac and place them in with the oatmeal gently mix it together with your hands or a wooden object like a wooden spoon. Then just place those one to two ladies mantle leaves on the top. At this point, your mixture is ready to use. So take that mixture and place it on the cloth. Gather up the corners and use your string to tie it closed or place the mix in a sachet. At this point, you can totally use it. 
um, or you can further do some magical work with it by setting it on an altar. You can charge it further by gently breathing into your charm bag, the intention of infusing it with the beauty of the season or any variation that you choose. But one of the wonderful things about working with plants is that they carry that intention already. They have their own magic that they hold. And you just have to kind of align yourself with it and decide which ones are the right ones to use and then follow their lead. I was taught that these kinds of charms are a bit more powerful if when you're asking or receiving something if you offer it out to the world to all who need it as well. But that's up to you. That's a bit bigger magic to take on. Uh, but certainly add something like that in if that feels right to you. I personally would add something like, may the beauty of all beings be recognized, seen, and valued. So that's one possible variation, and I'm sure you can think of many others. This is personal magic, and if you tune in, you will know what the right words to use are. I also wanted to add that this is a blend that has fresh herbs in it, so once you tie that bundle together um, and add the plants to the oatmeal because there's fresh herbs, you do need to use it right away or else it will eventually start molding. Once you have your charm fully ready, it's time to prepare your bath. And you can do any magical preparation in the bath or in the bathroom that you want. You can cast and call if you choose. You don't have to. Um, you can light candles if you want. That adds some nice energy to the room. If I was doing it, I might add like, one small tea light or one small birthday candle that I let burn the entire time and burn out while I'm taking the bath just to help hold the magic a little bit more and help add another layer of taking the magic up to the spirit world. If I was adding the variant about all beings being seen as sacred and beautiful, I would be more likely personally to cast a circle, but again, casting or not casting is a personal decision. A lot of witches don't cast with this kind of work and a lot do, so that is totally up to you. When you have everything set up the way you want it to, add your bundle to the bath and you might want to let it soak in the bath for a few minutes before you get in yourself so that that oatmeal starts to soak up some water and release some of its properties and the flowers start releasing some of their properties into the bath. Be sure and squeeze the bundle a little bit to make sure that some of the goodness of it gets out into your bath water. You can also take that charm bundle and rub that on your skin as a way of getting some of the physical properties on your body to support your skin. And as you're doing this bath, do the best you can to focus on absorbing the magical beauty of the season that is infused in this charm bundle. Once you feel done, step out of the bath, discard the charm, it's not reusable, and then just have some soft time to let the magic settle and integrate. The amount of oatmeal I specified in the video made one medium sachet and one tiny little mini charm spell. If you wanted a more milky and luxurious bath, I would cut a bigger piece of fabric and use a lot more oatmeal. As you can see, two sprigs of lilacs is plenty. We just used a tiny little bit so you could go more with the amount of lilacs you added to the charms as well. And I will put some proportions for various amounts in the description below. 
If you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and hit the like button and please share them with people. I'd like to get them out to a little broader audience. Be well and thanks for watching.